pleasure to welcome everyone to Fieldcrest High School's Class of 2020 graduation ceremony. Although this year's graduation ceremony doesn't look like the same as years past, all crammed together in a hot and humid school gym, we are very fortunate to even have a graduation ceremony, especially for this size. Even though the circumstances aren't ideal, Class of 2020 is still gathered here today to celebrate an important milestone. On behalf of the senior class, I would like to thank the administration for working long and hard to make sure the Class of 2020 is able to experience such a special ceremony. Thank you. I do want to welcome everybody. I, I appreciate you coming out here on a, on a July day, uh, so thank you very much. Um, Andrew stood is standing here because he's the first one I get to introduce. Um, Andrew is our 2020 class um, salutatorian. speech, a speech for the graduates about overcoming adversity, or even one about chasing your dreams. However, I realized that one of the most important and valuable things I could talk about was gratitude. Since preschool or kindergarten, we have all had the same goal in mind, graduate high school. At that age, graduation seems so very far away. But here we are gathered today at this year's graduation ceremony. Not one of us, not myself, nor my fellow classmates gathered behind me, made it here without the help of our teachers, administration and faculty, and our family and friends. So on behalf of my fellow classmates, I would like to take this time to show our thanks to these special people. To our teachers, thank you for enriching the minds of your students over the past four years. You took the time to explain lessons and homework, usually more than once, and high school students often find it hard to pay attention. I know, hard to believe, right? A special thanks to the teachers who go above and beyond for their students. The ones who arrive at school early and leave late. The ones who constantly help students in study halls. The ones who create meaningful relationships with their students so that going to school is more enjoyable. You are all truly appreciated. Thank you to the teachers who double as coaches, club supervisors, or are involved in extracurricular groups. As they make going to high school not just about taking math tests or reading books, but about competing, learning life lessons, and most importantly, Creating lifelong memories. All of these important teachers set the stepping stones on our path to success, and their selfless and committed nature can never be fully realized. To the administration and staff, thank you for creating and maintaining a learning environment for us students. Without our janitors, our school would still be flooded. Without our lunch ladies, students wouldn't be able to raise to get seconds of chicken tenders. Without the high school secretary, students wouldn't even be able to get through the locked door, unless, of course, they just ripped it open. Heck, without our guidance counselors, some of us wouldn't even be here. In all seriousness, though, the staff and all the often unnoticed work they do at Fieldcrest High School is appreciated. To our families and friends, thank you for supporting us in more ways than we can imagine. You made sure we attended school, paid our school fees, supported us in sporting events, band competitions, musicals, and plays and made sure we finished our homework, most of the time. I owe a special thanks to our brother Ryan. Without him, I might not be here today delivering the speech to Salutatorian. It is way easier to make a grade when your brother has the same class as you. No, I'm just kidding. Truthfully, our families and friends are the ones we owe most of our thanks to. As you can see, each graduate of the class of 2020 receives support from teachers, administration, staff, families, and friends. So although today is a special day for us graduates, the end of the first chapter of our lives, the beginning of a new one, it is also a special day for those who have supported us. Although we are not sure our graduate before these individuals, as much as we should, I, on behalf of the senior class, would like to thank each and every one of you for your support, especially over these past four years. I hope that as graduates of the class of 2020 start their journey through life, whether it be into the workforce, college, military, etc. They remember to thank those who helped them in senior life. Thank you.
Thank you, Andrew. And now it's my pleasure to introduce this year's Class of 2020 Valedictorian, Zeta Baker. Take anything. 
taking for granted. People always say that. But it really hit me the hardest when we missed out on so many momentous events of our senior year. I realized how much I did take to set those things for granted. We should cherish every moment with the people we have in our lives now. Because as much as we don't want to leave or lose our friends, we're all starting new chapters of our lives on different paths. In a way, it's a shame that we've become so close just in time for us to head our separate ways and begin the next chapter of our lives. While we all hope to find new and exciting experiences in the future, we'll always remember our experiences, the lessons learned, the memories, and how people made us feel. But today is a day to celebrate, to celebrate all our hard work that has paid off to walk across the stage, to get our name called, to take a picture, and receive our diplomas. As we begin this next chapter of our lives, we face many uncertainties in the both immediate and distant future. I know, for me at least, I am terrified of what the future holds because it is unknown. I am afraid to make the wrong decisions and make a mistake, and that's okay. Because we are young and there is no roadmap to this journey called life. We're going to make mistakes and we're going to be wrong, but then we can learn from them. Before I leave you today, I would like to say a couple of last things, which are, I hope that you chase after your dreams and never give up on them. I hope that you live life with no regrets, and I hope that you remember the class of 2020, because I will never forget. Thank you. Well, this is going to be difficult, because you're behind me. So I'm going to do the best job I possibly can speaking to you, Fieldcrest graduating class of 2020. It feels so good to be able to say that directly to you this evening. I first want to thank you for your patience and perseverance as we have worked to organize a time to celebrate you in the biggest possible way while respecting the guidance given by our local and state leaders. This has been a crazy year for you that will not soon be forgotten. I agree with the previous messages from your class that highlight the sacrifices made this monumental year. At the same time, I believe that this wild year placed during this time is no accident for all of you. Your future as you leave high school will be one that is going to require resilience, resolve, and a greater need for respect toward one another. It will also require leaders to step up to the front and step out of the crowd in order to move others to greater heights. The best news for me personally is that you are prepared because you are knights. I have witnessed you take on the challenges of tough courses, contests, conflicts. I have seen you work through issues and work for one another. I have seen you drive to excel. You are ready. As you move on to life's next chapter, I offer you two charges to never forget, even though times may get tough. First, love others more. You may, hear the, you may have heard the familiar, be familiar with the words, love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast. It is not proud, it is not rude, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails us. But what does that look like for you? Well, real love is not emotion, it's devotion. It is selfless. And there is no better example of this than two people you know very well. I would like Mrs. Bartman and Mr. Glowacki to step up on the edge there, please. Step up. I think your two sponsors have demonstrated throughout this summer, they've, they've, they've lived with you, they've hurt for you because they were not able to do graduation with you, and they have spent their time this summer unconditionally for you. I think they deserve a round of applause. Thank you for being such great examples. Can you imagine if the leadership, even within our country, 
practiced a love that did not boast, one that did not envy, that was not self-seeking and actually rejoiced with truth. This is where all of you as knights come in and leads me to charge number two for you. And that is, be proud of where you come from. Whether it is your family, your Chris High School, your community, or your country. One of the greatest celebrations you have participated in each of the past four years is our Veterans Day program, where we are able to thank those who serve this great nation. And it is a great nation, not perfect, but one that provides more opportunities for you as a class than any other in the world. Where do you come in? With the truths you know about love, you must lead, get involved. If you remember, veterans who share each year remind you that it doesn't take service in the military as a means to be involved. It may be on a committee in your workplace, a college student government, park board, city council, school board, state rep, or senator, who knows? But no matter what you choose, by stepping up and stepping out, you all have what it takes to lead others and make a positive difference in others' lives. Great leaders serve, and you already demonstrate that. But if you live with a purpose to love others more, there is no challenge that will be too difficult for you. Challenge yourself to always stay involved with people wherever and whenever you can, building the strong emotional bonds that strengthen an unconditional love and care for one another. I am proud of all of you, and I wish all of you success, and may God bless your future. All right, thank you all. Now the time you've been waiting for, it is my pleasure. Dr. Kerry Rockwell, Superintendent, Mrs. Mike and Bernardi, and members of the Fieldcrest School Board, family members, friends, and guests. On behalf of the faculty at Fieldcrest High School, it is my privilege to present to you the Fieldcrest High School graduating class of 2020. I acknowledge that they have met the requirements set forth by the Illinois State Board of Education and Fieldcrest Community Unit 6 District Board of Education and I recommend these students for graduation. Thank you all for being here. Uh, I think the kids said it best, so I'm not going to say much. I'm just really grateful uh, to be here tonight, grateful that all of you could come and celebrate our students. And to all of you, I think you've had an incredibly trying year. But I'm so excited to see what you do in the future. Can't wait to read your names in the newspaper, see our veterans come home after boot camp, and after deployments, we are just incredibly proud of you. And please know that we are always here no matter what. Thank you. Fourth row, please stand.
Zoe Amaya Ballard. Anna Marie Mary Emily Blair. Blake Edward Brett. Courtney Rose Breckenridge. Alexander Casterjohn. <laughs> Dalila Madison Seha. Tyson Maurice Covington. Selena Samantha Davis. Nathaniel Charles Jameson DeBlay. Sydney Elizabeth Dennis. Cassandra Jean Edgeton. Third row, please stand. Bailey Nicole Etheridge. <laughs> Taylor Marie Etheridge. <laughs> Mason Wade Falk. <laughs> Aaliyah Lynn Fuchs. <laughs> Ashley Nicole Gull. Andrew Jeffrey Gogenauer. Connor Jeffrey Gogenauer. Brian Jeffrey Gogenauer. Alan Fulton Harlan. Grace Caroline Hassler. Grant John Hassler. Jessica Jo Marie Keaton. Ellen McIntosh Hood. Ethan Archer Johnson. <laughs> Alexandria Rianne Knight. That's my Lolo. Ashley Elise Krischel. Second row, please stand. Camry Claire Ann Keen. Jordan Marie Lipinski. Matthew Joseph Lorton. Jacelyn Marie Ludwig. Morgan Nicole Malone. Nicole Patricia McKinney. Emily Suzanne Medley. Cam Steven Miloshowski. Thomas James Milton. Catherine Elizabeth.
Elizabeth Monty. Garrett James Nix. Amy Lynn Elizabeth Oakley. Nevada K. Park. Anthony Felix Perez. Kylie Ryan Perry. First row, please stand. Alexis Rose Pratt. <laughs> Mackenzie Ray Quick. <laughs> Keegan James Robbins. <laughs> Parker Joe Russman. Kennedy Helen Souls. Brittany Marie Smith. Haley Michelle Smith. Brandon Joseph Spangler. Kathleen Stevens. <laughs> Natalie Elizabeth Sutherland. <laughs> Kelsey Elizabeth Trapp. <laughs> Cody Allen Troger. <laughs> Kayla Marie Toll. Reese Sophia Weber. Andrew John Wiesenhofer. Donald Hunter Weiss. Alex Jude Carls. Well, this is it. We got our diplomas, we walked across the stage, and we got our picture taken. What we have been waiting so long for, well, longer than normal, is finally here. This may not be the normal graduation that we were all hoping for, but I guess we can't really complain about not having to sit in a 120 degree gym bar. But I suppose sitting in this 80 degree human weather with these gowns on isn't much better. But I mean, at least we're all here together graduating. For most of you, this may just be another graduation. But for us students, it is so much more. This is the time to get the closure that we never got. We did not get the last day of school to say goodbye to our teachers or our peers and walk through the hallways one last time to reminisce on the past 12 years of our lives together. Today was a chance for all of us to see each other one last time and to watch each of us watch across the stage and say goodbye to each other. For some of us, we probably may never see each other again as we move on to the next chapter of our lives. So, good luck to all my peers for whatever you do next with your lives whether it may be going to college, trade school, workforce, military, or any other adventure you may pursue. This is the time of our lives to live it to the fullest and take chances and risks. 
Don't take anything for granted, put your happiness first, and reach to achieve every dream and goal you've ever wanted. While also face your fears and do the things you're most terrified to do, as I did tonight by speaking in front of all of you, and I say will tomorrow morning when I jump out of an airplane. And yes, I really am going skydiving tomorrow morning. So thank you to everyone who put this graduation together and made it possible, and thank you to everyone for coming and supporting us through this journey. Now, may I ask the class of 2020 to please rise. You may now move your tassels from the right to the left. To the class.